Good morning YouTube and welcome back to Not Too Wolf Mum. Today we have an unboxing. Little one just delivered by Yodel. It looks as though it is proper in the box, but I've only got one. Now, if you've been watching my videos in the past, you'll know that I get a two pop subscription. Um, basically what that means is that from a list that I pick out ones that I like, uh, they will every month send me two from that list. Uh, cost me $16.99 I think it is. And uh, yeah, I've been pretty good lately. Um, but I'm a bit surprised I've only got one. So whether they've charged me for two or not, I don't know. We'll find out anyway. As when. But I'll open it up this one for now. Excuse me looking over. I'm looking for something to open this with. Uh, I don't know where my gizmo's gone again. So I'll have to use the old fingernail, I think. Fingernail, fingernail, fingernail. Get my teeth back in. Right, it's not going to happen, is it? I've got a fork. Forky, it's his cousin, the metal one. <laughs> Sorry, that, that's fucking shit. <laughs> right, at least I admit it though, eh? Oh, come on, you buggery fuck. Is there anything I can find? Right, we're in, I think. Don't want to wreck the pop, obviously. Hopefully this is one that I actually want. Oh, bloody yodel. Yes, they actually knocked on my door so I could hear them this morning. Which makes a nice change. The only thing is, whoever put this in the box didn't put it in there properly. So there's all bits hanging out. That's what she said. <laughs> oh right, cool, okay. Well I had actually cancelled this on my list because I wasn't that worried about it now the Fantastic Four ones are coming out. But I'll keep it. It is Jim Hammond's the original human torch. So that's pretty cool. Alright, we've got them on the back. Right, that's the original comic that he was in. Uh, I may still get name all then. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, let's take him out. Let's take him out. Yeah, so I think this this month I'm probably going to get any standard pops. I don't think I'm going to get anything overly special. But uh, I like this. Yeah, oh, yeah, which way bloody round is he supposed to be, for goodness sake? Can't even see his eyeballs. Uh, I think he's supposed to be that way around. It's difficult because you can't see any eyes. But then I suppose you wouldn't have on the on the proper cartoon one, you did a comic book one, you would have seen them. And it's very nice though. I like the way what they've done with the flames. They're kind of semi see through. That's really cool effect. Yeah, I reckon that's quite good actually. As, as I say, there's not an awful lot to him, but what there is, is very well done. And it does look like the comic book counterpart with all the sort of whatever this etching was on his face. I suppose it's like giving the emphasis of the flames and the heat. Uh, yeah, yeah, not bad. Uh, okay, so that is it for that. Um, <coughs> I... Well, we'll hopefully get the second one soon and be able to insert this. So, stay tuned and we'll find out. It's about a week or so later and the second one has indeed turned up. You can tell it's probably box because it's got PIAB on it. Never do it that way, it's easy for you to read unless you stand on your head. Which you might do, I don't know. Don't know what you get up to at home. Uh, <laughs> Right, anyway, sorry that was lame. Uh, right, yes, let's crack them open and see what we've got. Not bad, as soon as it came from the States. Unfortunately, it's not a big one, 
but hey ho let's see if we can get into it it's going to be a bit of a tough for this one and I don't want to damage the box and stuff like no so what about this particular uh, right so I think I've got it there we go so fingers crossed it's what I haven't got <laughs> okay yeah 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 this makes sense this makes sense if you saw the other one that I had then uh, this makes perfect sense and it is Namor the Submariner there we go so it's the second one of those two that have been recently released and I do believe I've got another one on the way ah what that is you'll have to wait and see anyway Back to the same as the other one. Right, let's crack them open. Yeah, people don't realise quite how old a lot of these characters are. And, uh, yeah, they've been around a heck of a long time. So, if it will come out. Oh, that didn't sound too healthy. Hopefully it's just the plastic. There we go. So Namor is, uh, for all intents and purposes, Moles' version of Acroban. I think his powers are somewhat different than that. It's not a character I've followed an awful lot, but there he is. And he is actually the first ever mutant to appear in Marvel Universe. So forget Cyclops and Beast and all that lot. He was there first. So there we go. He's got his trident, and it is a trident. It's got three on there. Not like Aquaman's, so it's got five on it, or whatever it is. Right, he's got his speedos on. Yeah. His little winged feet. Why he had winged feet, I've no idea. To make him swim through the water, because he certainly couldn't fly. Uh, but yes, he's got winged feet. Pointy ears, like Mr. Spock. Very sort of glowering look. Uh, what else can you say? It's quite simplistic, but it works. So there's that one, and we'll bring up the other one from previously. There we go. So those are the two that appeared in that book. So Jim Hammond, the original Human Torch, and uh, Prince Namor the Submariner, or Submarina, however you want to pronounce it. There we go. Very nice figures. Uh, I'm sure you'll agree. I'm I'm loving the '80s stuff because I like getting the old retro uh, original look comic book characters. There are a couple I'm going to miss on because some of them they looked a bit meh. Um, Wolverine looks stupid. His first appearance just looks daft. Um, they tweaked him a bit and he looks a lot better. Because the other one he had whiskers and some of the other nonsense, so I won't be worried about him. Uh, I think they've done Black Widow and original get up with a mask and everything. Not not what I call classic Black Widow, which is the orange hair and the, the black suit and the stingers on her arms and that. But, you know, that's the thing with Pops. You can pick and choose what you want. So, yeah. But I'm quite pleased with those two. Um... Would I have liked a big pop, obviously, but I can't get greedy. <laughs> but those two for the... Because I think I'm still paying $16.99, even though I think for new subs it's $18.99. So why is that? I don't know, but I'm not going to complain about it. So $8.50 each. Great, great. Saving myself at least a quid fifty. Uh, I think they were even 15 quid in the entertainer, but I couldn't swear to that, so... I save myself a hell of a lot. Anyway, that is it for this video. Uh, so it's taken a while to get it all together, but we were waiting on this one to turn up. So it is what it is. But anyway, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think about these Marvel ones, whether you think they're worth getting or not. There seem to be quite a lot coming out. 
especially in January, there's a whole ton of them coming out, uh, which do look quite nice actually. So uh, probably be getting those. Um, yeah, I think it's ring the bell, ding a ling ling -a. And above all else, please subscribe. Uh, competition is still going on. Links below for that. Can't think of anything else to say really. So I will leave it there. And uh, again, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you to all the new subscribers that have popped in just recently. Good to have you, have you here. Hope you stick around. Excuse me, get my words muddled. Um, yeah, tell your friends and family about the channel. And uh, sooner you can do that, sooner we can get this competition drawn. Alright guys, thanks again and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.